Are you in the market for some new tires for your side-by-side? -side? Today I'm reviewing a set of tires from MRT. These are called the Desert Storm. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I think about these tires. We're going to go over some of the really good, some of the not as good, and I'm, I'm going to try to make this more of a review versus a comparing, although I have run a lot of the more popular tires down here in the southeast, so it's going to be based on some of my other experiences. Now, you guys know how this works. With tires, everything is about opinion. It's about, it's going to be about expectations, what type of ride you're going to do. So I'm only going to tell you how I feel about these and how they've done for me. In the end, I'm going to talk about who I think these tires are really going to be good for and should be a good video. Let's get into it. So back here, we got a brand new Desert Storm 3515. This is a almost new Rockzilla 3510 uh, on a 14 inch wheel. And if you can see like side by side, and this is pretty new, even though the Rockzilla has a more flat tread, this has a uh, kind of rounded, rounded tread right here in the middle, like where the corners of the tread hit, the MRT is still I mean, just looking at it like right here, I mean, maybe a quarter of an inch. So even though the top looks much taller and they're as straight up and down as I can get it, the top, because it's rounded, looks way taller right here where the tread actually hits the corner. They're almost the same. And then both have 10 PSI in them too. Here you can see the Rockzillas came in at 74.6. Now that's the wheel and tire combination. I understand the wheels may be a little bit different, but I didn't have them broke down, so I just went ahead and weighed them together. Now this is the MRT Desert Storm on a 15 inch wheel, and you can see 66.0 pounds. So a pretty good, I mean, imagine that's almost eight pounds per wheel and tire times four. That's a pretty significant difference in weight. This rock is called Kylie's Crawl, and you can tell it's kind of just a big, rock slab so this will give you a good idea of what how they perform on just a smooth rock surface this is what kylie's crawl looks like it's just some smooth rocks i say smooth i mean there's some divots and some you know some little holes and everything but it's not like a bunch of a bunch of loose rocks it's one big like stone mountain rock but it's got a good bit of traction on it Tried to give you a little zoomed in picture of what that front driver's tire is doing while it's going up the smooth rocks. Of course, it's, it's easy when you don't have anything to reference it to. So I found an old video of a buddy climbing this and a similar scenario not the same day but you get the idea all right so you seen how they done on rocks let me show you how they do on some dirt I was trying to go super slow so it, you can get a little taste of the traction not just blasting up it pretty dang good. Here's another situation where the tires did great. Super slick, mix of mud and rock. I was actually the only one to even make it this time. But for some comparison, I'll show you something that you're a lot more familiar with. I know it's not apples to apples being on a talon, but you can still see the traction. It is really slick. We were sliding back every time we stopped. So you've seen the tires in action. I showed you a few different scenarios, some dry rocks, some dirt, and some super slick, one of the slickest hills that are out at one of my local parks. We call it Fox Holler. Now we're just gonna talk about my opinion of the tires and more importantly, who do I think would these tires be best for? To start off, in general, these are these are really good. Like I've run a bunch of different tires and these are really good. 
Are they the best at everything? Of course not. But are they really good at a lot of stuff? Let's talk about it. First off, are you a person that has some sidewall punctures? Do you have a lot of problems because the MRT tires are designed with a Kevlar carcass, I guess is what you call it. So some of the other tires like the radial tires, the XTR 370s, the Rockzillas, you know, they have a thin sidewall and sometimes not me personally, I've only had a couple sidewall punctures, but the Kevlar and the MRT tires are super tough. I've not had any issues and they're supposed to be a lot stronger. So if you have a lot of problems with sidewall punctures, these might be one of the best tires you can get. The forward traction on these tires is amazing. Are they as good as maybe something like the Rockzillas? I don't think so on rocks. Now on dirt, they might even have done a little better than the Rockzillas did. Um, on looser dirt, they worked really good. I mean, you've seen in the videos what I was doing. They just crawled up that little dirt bank. Um, something that they did better at, though. I don't know what everybody else calls this, but I consider it the lateral, the sideways traction. So these had really good lateral traction. Like what I mean when you're going around a curve, keeping the back end from fishtailing, these did great. If you're trying to come in and out of some ruts, these tires did really good. If you're probably what, you know, what I'm assuming is they're designed for racing, desert racing maybe even. So going fast, holding a line around a curve, keeping the tire exactly in the line that you want it, they did good. They did better than some of the other tires that I've run. Also, if you're going to do a lot of high speed running, and I'm not even talking about just desert racing, but just any kind of going faster, these did really good. They are much lighter than some of the other tires like we measured. I mean, it's like eight pounds per wheel and tire. So you can feel the difference and the rounded, the rounded tread pattern or uh, whatever you want to call it, the top of the tire, it made it like you could significantly feel in the steering wheel how much lighter the steering was with these tires. Now that could be because of the lighter tire, the rounded top of the tire. I don't know what it was, but you could feel the difference in how good they rode and how light the steering wheel was at the same time still maintaining being able to drive good at higher speeds. So in the end, who do I think these tires are going to be absolutely perfect for? I think in general they're good for a lot of things, maybe besides everything besides maybe just some mud riding, but who are they going to be the best for? I'm thinking the person that likes to ride pretty hard, you know, because we ride a lot of the really tough trails at all the parks that we go to, whether it be rock, dirt, that type of person who likes to do that, but at the same time, occasionally likes to go fast. So whether it be on some trails, whether it be on some just some pavement riding, some dirt road riding, if you get into some stuff that has a lot of high speed trails, I think these would be great. The other person, I've seen a lot of people, they get sidewall punctures. So if you have a need for a super tough tire, I think this is going to be it because I haven't seen anybody with some issues running any of the MRT tires to be honest, but these tires have a super tough sidewall. At the same time, they're not really, really rigid. So in the end, I'm confident that anybody who purchases some of these tires is going to be happy with them. The only question I've got for you is what tires would you like to see me test next? I don't know if it's going to be some kind of brand new tire that's coming out or maybe something that's on the market that you don't see now. Tell me in the comments. I'll see what I can do to find them. Appreciate everybody watching. Hope to see you out on the trails.